Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do something a little bit different with the reaction videos and we're going to go a little bit lighter. This is one of my personal favourite songs. It's a bit soppy, but it has everything in it. I would go so far as to say it's a 9.5 out of 10 when it's on the album. As a recorded track, it, I think it's the best in the class as in the class that it's in, which would be Power Ballads. I really can't think of anything I would change about a song, nor are there any sort of dips in the song where you think, oh, that's getting a little bit boring, or, you know, that's a little bit overblown. This just is, to me personally, the perfect song. Now, Foreign is one of my favourite bands. Um, I like all of their stuff. This album was very good on Agent. They, I think, had this was yet that was yesterday and Tooth and Nail as well. So it was a really, really good album. But this song, I mean, it was obviously their biggest hit by quite a margin, and they had some big hits. So this is a live version uh, from 1985. So it's something a little bit different for me. I haven't heard this one. Um, I know it's going to be good. I well, I say that. How does his vocal stack up when it's recorded um, in a studio compared to being recorded live? Uh, this is with Lou Graham. They've got uh, Kelly Hansen with them now, who is a fantastic singer. He really is good. And I've seen Kelly Hansen uh, play play with uh, Foreigner. Play with Foreigner. He is Foreigner's front right now. Uh, it was when he was with uh, Brian Tishy, who was in the band as well, who's, again, one of my favourite drummers. He's a heavy hit and he was, he was really good to watch. So, anyway... Enough with the babbling, as normal. We're going to have a little look at Foreigner. I want to know what love is. And, uh, yeah. Let's see how we go. I've got to take a little time little time to think things over It's a really relaxed drum beat A nice Can bass I between the lines Kids I need it when I'm older Looks young man And he hit the note as well I like that this mountain I must climb Feels like the world look on my shoulder Through the clouds I see love shine It keeps me warm as life goes colder I love the way it builds. It makes you... It's one of those songs, and there's only a few of them, that just makes you sit down and puts you in the back of your seat. And whatever you're thinking about goes. I mean, don't watch this song if you're sad. I mean, don't watch it if you're sad. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a slow builder, and that, uh, what makes it very, very eighties, which I love. Anything eighties, I love. Um, he's got a lovely, lovely soft vocal. Uh, he's not got the biggest range. I think that's that's quite obvious, and that's been quite obvious throughout his career. But it's a good range, and for Foreigner, he was. He's my favourite foreigner singer, and you know, being the original, is uh, that's good enough for me. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I can't stop now. I've travelled so far. Know what's coming now? I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. I wanna be what love is. I know you can show me. Slightly different take on the uh, recorded version there. He wasn't reaching for the notes quite so uh, <clears throat> well, or should we say. Um, but it's so nice. It's so nice and it's so mellow. 
um, one of the testaments to how good the song is is everyone is just playing really relaxed. It's just a very, very slow song. There's nothing punchy, but it's perfect. The bass line, the guitar, the drums, especially the drums actually, it's just a very slow beat. We don't need fills in this. When it comes up to the chorus, they build up to it, which really adds to that the impact. And um, we've got a few backing singers on the go here. They do have a choir in the um, on the recorded track, and I've seen some of the live ones where they do, and I hope they do because I love a choir. Gotta take a little time, a little time to look around me. I've got nowhere left to hide. Looks like love has finally. Lovely. There's really been nice. pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I can't stop now. I've traveled so far. Here we go. Just nice and gently into it, into that perfect chorus. Yeah, I can hear it. There, <laughs> yeah. Just adds that choir. Just adds. Really compliments his voice. voice of the choir and Lou Graham really really adds just a whole other dimension to the song again the band was staying the same very very solid very very laid back I mean the songwriting and the lyrics are very profound they really are I, mean, I dare anyone to dislike this song I just I've never heard anyone doesn't like this song I mean it might be too 80s for you but you're not going to dislike it um, how it was written. I mean, obviously, it was a monster hit as well. We don't get the songs like that anymore. I mean, people talk about, you know, big stars now like Adele and things like that. Give me four and all day long. Hold up here. Wow, I like that. Pure 80s perfection. Build. And there he is, flexing his muscles right there. That was great. He hit that note perfectly. He's not really pushed himself too hard on this version, but it doesn't sound bad. It sounds absolutely flipping amazing. But when he went there, that really, really, really sounded good. And I think sometimes when you've got singers like this that don't have the huge range, I know I've said that before in this video, but they've got a good range, but also a very, very specific voice that you know it's them. When they hold back and then let them go as opposed to belting out all the time, they belt this, they belt that, you kind of get bored. Whereas this, he's holding it, he's holding it, and then when the chorus comes in and there, when he's leading into the chorus, he really lets himself go, and that gives you quite a big wow factor.
it's kind of like the guitar player that always plays fast all the time you sort of go yeah, that's fine but then when they hold back a little bit and they're a bit more tasteful they leave a little bit more space and then they go for it it takes you back more because you've got more of an impression of what they can do but also understand that they're tasteful in how they pick their notes and how they phrase themselves I'm looking for the rest of this Well, I'm a fan. That was, uh, yeah, that was fantastic. I'll tell you one interesting thing though. I wonder if there are any of the songs of that level in the rock genre that didn't have a guitar playing. Because I just noticed there, normally Mick Box plays guitar and they've got someone else playing the uh, keyboard or vice versa. Didn't see a guitar player there, whether there's one backstage or just to the side of the stage, just uh, playing rhythm there or not, I'm not sure, because the bass was very predominant, and so was the keyboard playing and the drumming, and obviously the singing, uh, but I don't really hear any guitar in that. Well, when I've seen them, they've got one, two, two guitar players, maybe one? Um, I think two, because he jumps between the, um, the keyboards and uh, the guitar. So, anyhow, that was Foreigner, I want to know what love is live 1985 i really enjoyed that a bit different than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a little bit more in your face i thought it was going to but that was a really good take on it um the vocals i thought were were, were top notch and again for me that it's kind of one of those songs that where you sort of you think about what is the perfect song of a genre for a power ballad or a love song that's it for me it's like it's a sultan's a swing it's um, Child in Time. It's that sort of song for me. It really is. It really was that good. Well, if there's any other uh, foreigner tracks you like, or any of the live foreigner tracks you like, and you'd like me to have a little look at, drop in the comment section below. If you were at the concert, of which someone was at the California Jam video I've just done, drop in to let me know what it's like. Or if you're on the World Tour, you might not have to have been at that venue there if you're in the World Tour in 1985. And uh, if you want to have a little chat, that would be great and we can discuss some of the other tracks that they did because I'd love to know if they did Tooth and Nail live and that was yesterday because that was yesterday I think is a fantastic track. Never seen it live. So that would be interesting. Well, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you on the next video.